Hey guys, Justin back for another video. Um, I am going to do a rip today, but I wanted to just give an update on a few things. Um, first thing being the card show I went to last weekend, I picked up some cool things. So I wanted to show those off. And um, then we'll talk about the Shohei Otani um, flip series or whatever that I was doing. But uh, first, let's go over some of the cards that I got. So uh, I found a Griffey bubblegum card. I don't know the value of this. I think it's like, I, I actually did look it up. It was like five to seven bucks maybe, but somebody had one for two bucks. So I picked this up and uh, I've known about the card, but I've never had one. So I was really happy to get get this one. It was a good pickup. Um, iconic card, obviously. Uh, actually, there's a commercial out right now where Ken Griffey Jr. is like, um, hey, you got any bubblegum? <laughs> so it's pretty funny. I also picked up some vintage Reds cards. Um, let's start with uh, Frank Robinson here. I got a couple Frank Robinson cards. I actually have not looked into these cards too much yet. Um, let's see here. This one on the left looks like it is... What year? 61 maybe? Um, it must be because they've got a year 60 stats for the uh, last thing on it. Uh, these were not graded. I don't know if I'll send them in or not. Um, and I also have a 59 it looks like. So, uh, pretty cool cards here. I am starting to pick up some vintage stuff, you know, just for long-term holding and enjoyment. Um, so, pretty cool to get Reds Legend Frank Robinson. I also picked up a Joe Morgan card. Oh, you know what? I think I actually got this one out of a lot that I bought off of somebody. I can't remember. No, 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 I didn't. This, this also came from a dealer at the show. This one is a 79, I believe. Uh, Joe Morgan for the Reds. And then uh, my favorite Reds card that I picked up is actually this uh, Pete Rose uh, 1969 uh, for the Reds. Well, it's, it's a it's a multi, you know, batting leaders card with uh, Matty Alou, Felipe Alou, and uh, Pete Rose. So, pretty cool card here. This is a PSA graded to 7. I don't remember how much I paid for these, but, um, you know, cool, cool to add to the collection. Starting to add some vintage stuff, so... I also picked up a couple uh, 90s basketball cards. I picked up this Topps Finest Michael Jordan. And I believe this was the first Topps Michael Jordan or first Topps Finest Michael Jordan card. So this one's pretty neat. Um, again, not really sure. I can't remember what I paid for these. but And this is also my first uh, Kobe Bryant card. Um, and I believe this is a rookie card. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, what's this say right here? Official Skybox, Skybox Rookies. So, yeah, this is uh, the perforated Hoops Sheets cards. And um, obviously there's a lot of Kobe rookie cards, but this one kind of stood out to me, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, you know, it, it comes from a sheet and it's perforated, so you, like even though it has this awful like outside-looking edge, it's actually still, you know, a good condition PSA 8. Um, so I thought this was a pretty cool pickup too. So this is my first Jordan and my first Kobe. And, um, you know, just kind of looking for these, these definitely, you know, wouldn't be considered vintage, but, um, maybe one, I mean, they will one day at least. And, um, it was nice to get some, some iconic basketball stuff too. So pretty cool pickups from the card show. Um, I will say that I was like kind of disappointed, um, in the card show a little bit. There was a lot of people who had signs that said they were like trading and buying or whatever. And, you know, I kind of, I kind of knew this going into it or whatever, but, um, I was just disappointed in like what they were offering or what they were willing to look at. Not that I'm an expert at like pricing my cards or anything like that, but you know, if you're only going to offer 50% of what it's worth, like why even, why even bother? You know, um, I was just looking to trade some, some cards for, you know, like for instance, like I would, I would rather trade this, you know, I brought this as like one of the cards I wanted to trade. It's like a $55 card. And I was like, just looking to get something else, you know, in like the $50 range. And you know, people were like, oh, I'll give you like 30 for it in trade. I'm like, yeah, so obviously not going to do that, but. Um, I guess that's just the way it is sometimes. But, um, okay, yeah, let's talk about the Shohei Otani trade-up. I think I found a fourth one here. So I did manage to sell all three of the Shohei Otanis on um, eBay. And I'll put the sales up on the screen. But um, I sold the first one for like $3 even, I think. Plus they paid for shipping. And then I sold the next one for, or no, it was like $310, then $320. And both of those sold immediately. So I was like, oh, shoot, well, I'm not selling them high enough. Um, so I sold the third one for $350. And... You know, hindsight, obviously, I could have gotten 40 more cents and 30 more cents. So I could have got 70 more cents. But um, after fees and shipping and um, stuff like that, I think I netted $6.87. But I'll put that number on the screen. And so 
you know, I've, I've got the $6.87 out of these three cards. And uh, I actually already found uh, an auction and bid on it. And I'll put that on the screen as well. So I've got a lot of 16 2023 Chrome Update refractors and insert refractors coming. So I'm hoping, and you know, that that, that costs $6.50 total. The auction, I won the auction for $6 and then I was 50 cents in tax. So 16 um, Chrome refractor cards plus 37 or 38 cents left over. I think that was a pretty good deal for these three Otanis. Um, you know, if I if I manage to sell all of those for a buck, it's like $16, but obviously eBay fees are going to eat that up. So I'm going to try and sell some of them on Reddit um, to avoid the fees, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. Um, it's obviously going to be a while before I get those cards. It might even be even two whole weeks. So we'll see. But um, the, the flip up, the trade up, the sell up uh, continues. So um, this isn't one of the three I already have. The third one is packaged and ready to go to the, the mailbox. This is a fourth one that I had. But um, yeah, it'll be fun to continue the series. Um, I think if we can get to the $10 in cash range after after this this round, you know, we can start buying some, some cool cards. Uh, but I do want to kind of diversify out of just one card. I don't want to have just one card because if something happens to that player or something like that, and then it goes to zero, then I have to start over. So um, I want to try and have like two, three, maybe even like four wings or, or paths um, to flip and trade up so buying the 16 card lot was a pretty good step as honestly as good as it could get i would think for the amount of money that i made selling these otani so that'd be fun but anyways i do have a short um uh, rip free today i'll throw it on the end here i can't remember what i talked about in it so i might mute it um it might not make sense anymore but um <laughs> it's it's the second box of the x factors that i bought a while ago it's just a short one so um, anyways, thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you enjoy that rip, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. The other day, I posted a Monster Box video, but I said I had two. So, this is number two of those Monster Boxes. And I believe this is my sixth Monster Box total. I don't know how many come in a case. I didn't buy a case. I just picked them up, you know, occasionally. Um, for this one, I found out I had a Walmart gift card, and I snagged these for 60 bucks each on the Walmart website. Um, so, I ended up paying about 29 bucks total for both. I mean, that's not how much they cost, that's just how much I ended up paying out of my pocket. And um, I really enjoy this product. I will say the last box that we opened in the last video was not that great. It was actually probably the worst monster box that I've opened. Quality control was bad, the cards were quite a bit off-centered. Um, we didn't really have any hits. We had a Mike Trout that was really off-centered. We had a Bo Naylor and a Riley Green, but, um, you know, really, really nothing to write home about. Let's see if we can find something in this box a little bit better. Right off the bat, we got a green hit. That's good. I'm going to actually hold this whole pack till the end. Um, we only had one numbered card in the last box, so I'm guessing we're probably only going to have one numbered card here. So we'll just go ahead and hold that one. This was actually the hit in our last box. was a Herman Marquez, or German, German. I don't really know how to say his name. <clears throat> it was a purple speckle to 250. But let's see if we can find a buyback card or something big here. We got an O'Neill Cruz. And a Drew Rasmussen kicking things off. Also, in the last video, the print lines were bad. I see one on this card, but um, nothing that would concern me just yet. So that's that's pretty good. Oh wow, O'Neill's cruises, O'Neill's O'Neill cruise, and these guys are way out of focus here. Let's do this. I'll put as many cards up on the stands as I can today get a good look at everything i will say you know with no guaranteed autos or anything like this probably isn't i don't know i i like this product a lot i i don't think i've ever pulled an auto it'd be cool to pull one but um i like the extractors and there's a tyler stevenson and the wander frank i'm not gonna put the wander frank up there because we still don't really know how we feel about him um probably not good but ty steve definitely go up there big fan of tyler stevenson uh reds fans are a little bit mixed about how they feel about him some people want him gone some people want Luke Maley full-time catching. I don't think most clubs want one catcher. Some even want three. So I don't think he's going anywhere, and I'm fine with that because I like him. Ozzy Abbies, we got a Logan Webb here. Here's an Ezekiel Tovar. He's another guy that I'm looking for a lot of. Pujols, Perez. We got a Jeremy Pena. This is a popular down here. This is a nice one. This is pretty well-centered. Got the Gold Cup card. That was pack number three. Well, te technically pack number four, but pack number three that we looked through. 
So we got four more to look at. Let's see if we can't find a second numbered card here. Or a nice buyback. Or an auto even. Randy Rosarena, Vinny Pasquantino. World Series champion, Marcus Semyon. Wouldn't mind having him in a X Factor. Ron Carson Encarnacion. Kodai Senga. I got tons of Sengas. Here's a Justin Verlander on the X Factor. And yeah, the printing lines are back on the left side on this one. It doesn't it doesn't look great, honestly. I don't know what's up, man. Where's QC at, guys? All right. Two more before we look at that hit. This will be a short video. A short little rip video. Little, last one was a little bit longer. I was kind of explaining about changing my my video process, going from a pack a day to a daily rip. And, you know, now we're really slowing things down, working on selling cards and moving and trading for things that I, that I like more than just masses of cards. Here's an Alec Manoa on a refractor and a Spencer, Spencer Torkelson. That's a nice centered card for the Torkelson. Well, eh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. We'll get these guys over here. I'll sleeve everything up after the video. I'm going to keep this one nice and short. Going to watch some NBA tonight, some UFC probably. And then tomorrow, I'm filming this in the same night as the video that you probably already saw. But tomorrow, I'm going to the game. The Rockets versus the Nuggets should be a good one. This one feels a little thick. Could be something in here, maybe. We'll see. CJ Abrams kicking us off. Doesn't look like there's a big hit or anything. Here's a Ryan McMahon. Lots of horizontal cards here. Trevor Story. There's a U Darvish. Chris Morrell, rookie. That's a guy that I keep. And Nolan Gorman, both of these guys. Strong, young rookie guys that I'm certainly keeping. Holding on to prospecting see how they do in the next few years created myself a little you know I, i've mentioned that i have a a decent database of all my cards and in that database i added some statistics for some key players some um, age at bats war war per at bat war per age and um you know able to figure out which rookies um you know i want to keep looking for and uh, the, you know, the obvious names are on there. The Corbin Carroll, the Gunnar Henderson, Michael Harris. I mean, those guys that everybody else is collecting, those guys are on there already. But found a few more that not everybody talks about. But all right, let's get into this last pack here. This is it. Let's see if we can get a big hit on this green. Got a Sandy Alcantara. He's out next year. Ethan Small, rookie. Here's a Cal Stevenson, rookie. We're going to pull the X Factor off the back first. Another rookie, Carlos Perez. Don't know much about this guy. We'll throw them up there for now, though. And then, what do we got here? It's an orange border. Dude, give me another oil. Is this a gunner? Dude, tell me this is a gunner. Nope, not a gunner. Is it an Adley? Ooh, not an Adley. Is it Ryan Mountcastle? I, I think I have this card already. Well, I got my hopes up. Had my hopes up. But uh, Ryan Mountcastle, I, I don't know what's going on with him, honestly. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's just overshadowed by the two younger guys. Um, I don't know. It is number to 99. It's a green sonar. It's a good-looking card. Don't get me wrong. We'll um, slide him up here and take a look at it. But, um, yeah, not a rookie. It's okay, though. Decent box. We got no buybacks in either box. Um... In this box, we did pick up a Nolan Gorman and Christopher Morrell. And um, I don't know. Who's our other best x Rector? Probably Pena. A um, couple, couple good rookies. Anyways, not the worst box. Probably not as bad as the last one. A little bit better. Um, would have liked to see Adley or Gunner on this uh, green sonar. But hey, no, no bad will to Ryan Mountcastle. Um, good card, number to 99. So... That's going to be it for this short video, guys. I will be putting out more pre-recorded videos for a while. Probably won't hear back from me in real time for a while. Um, probably not until basketball drops. I did order 2022, excuse me, 2023-2024 Panini Prism Hoops. So I'll be doing some daily pack-a-days with those cards and checking it out. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Another short video. Uh, please hit the like, follow, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the rip in the comments, and I'll catch you next time. See you then.